I think one of the things that violence does is that it ruptures relationships um, and it can damage our capacity to give and receive love if we don't heal through it. Um, I think it can also diminish our capacity to believe in the possibility of another person's change mm. because it is when we are struggling with healing, it's hard for us to believe that we can change in the ways we most want and need to. And I think it connects deeply to the idea and practice of transformation. Hmm. And, you know, we sort of the corniest metaphor that ever gets used is about a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, if you actually look at that process, like if you watch the process over time as that happens, it's awful. Like the caterpillar <laughs> liquefies. It probably feels like death. It smells more foul than almost anything I've ever smelled in my life. It's disgusting. Not all of them make it. And the shape of the wings and all of that mm -hmm. isn't evident until like the very second to last step of this long process. And so when we think about transformation, what we are signing up for is that nastiness. Like we're not signing up for beauty in the narrow sense of the word. We're not signing up for something pretty. We're signing up for something deeply beautiful, but not something pretty. And we're signing up for liquefying and we're signing up for smelling bad and we're signing up <laughs> for a process that is hard, um, that is labor intensive, that crumbles what we know of ourselves so we can grow something in its place. And that while we are in that process, we cannot yet see the destination. I firmly believe that a caterpillar that is liquefying does not yet have any sense of what it will feel like to fly. Hmm. It just knows what it feels like to liquefy. And so I think when we talk about transformation, we talk about it like it's something soft, like it's hmm. like belongs to sort of lefty liberal whoebevers <laughs> um, who say words like transformation. Transformation is one of the hardest and most rugged things that any creature can do. And so I think it means that having an appetite for transformation means recognizing transformation as something difficult and ugly that produces and is the only way of producing something beautiful. And so I think really becoming a culture that can protect and nurture healing and love and redemption and all the values you talk about requires becoming a culture that is willing to do the filthy, ugly, beautiful work of transformation. Oh, I